What's happening in iGaming? U.S. legal situation getting better? CAP website events launched. Welcome to CAP TV. This week we'll bring you the headlines shaping our industry today. We'll also give you a legal update from the U.S. and some news about CAP events. So let's get started. A lot has been happening in the iGaming industry in recent weeks. Right here at CAP, we've been happy to welcome online marketing guru Bob Rains to our team. Bob will be the new marketing vice president for CAP, so be sure to catch him in the forums from time to time. Welcome aboard, Bob. We'd also like to extend our congratulations to Andre Boak, the winner of the latest affiliate series of poker held at CAP Bureau London 2009. Andre takes home $6,000 in winnings, as well as the coveted ASOP champion bracelet. There has also been some positive international developments on the iGaming front. France is about to open its doors to the online gambling, and a lot of companies are gearing up to enter this new market. If the people of France embrace iGaming as enthusiastically as Spain or Italy, this represents an enormous opportunity for casinos and affiliates alike. Even as we see more European countries embrace online gaming as a regulated pastime, there are finally signs that some officials in the U.S. are warming up to that idea, too. In a rebuke to the UIGEA law, officials in Nevada have hinted that they may try to regulate the online gaming industry themselves. That prospect faltered a bit last week when Nevada State Gaming Board Chairman stated that it would be difficult to pull off. Still, it shows that states are more willing to take action on this issue. Even more encouraging are recent actions from states to legalize online poker. In late January, a Colorado court ruled that poker is not gambling, but rather a game of skill. As such, it would be exempt from anti-gambling regulations. Also in January, a Pennsylvania court made a similar ruling deciding that Texas Hold'em game couldn't be prosecuted as gambling since poker is in fact a game of skill. And on top of all this, an appeals court in Washington, perhaps the most harshly anti-gambling state in the U.S., has overturned the decision that shut down gambling website Betcha.com almost two years ago. All this adds up to a pretty promising start to 2009. Let's try to keep the trend going by reaching out to representatives and letting them know that UIGEA is not working. Regulation needs to happen. With economies in trouble worldwide, there's never been a more important time to bring iGaming business back to the internet. Let's continue hoping for the best and take action. Most affiliate marketers do the majority of their work at home. So it's great to have an opportunity to get together with others in the industry and meet their partners face to face. We at CAP have worked hard to provide events that do just that. From the relaxed CAP team break and the regional CAP down under to all the exciting CAP year events, CAP conferences just keep getting bigger and better. To make it easy for you to find information on all of these events, we've just launched a new website called CAP Events. You can view photos and videos from past events and get all the info you need for upcoming events. Even registering for an event and booking your hotel and travel can be done right through the new site. The CAP event site also has everything you need to register for our newest event, CAP Euro Amsterdam. From April 30th to May 3rd, we'll be bringing you the trademark CAP mix of networking, education, and entertainment to the Netherlands. It's a great chance to reach a new market and hook up with affiliates you may not have made it to the past events. Not to mention the fact that it occurs right after A4U Expo Europe the popular affiliate marketing conference for non-iGaming verticals, so you're sure to see a lot of new faces to iGaming. Anticipation is red hot for Cap Euro Amsterdam. It's likely to be the biggest event yet. This is just one you do not want to miss, especially if your business is based in Europe. That's it for this week. We'll see you next Wednesday, and until then, check out the Cap news page for more news updates.